Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Edward Florendo, Asia's snoring expert. Do you have problems which keep coming back despite taking medicines over and over again? Well, these problems is caused by something that keeps recurring in your body. Well, obviously, one of these things could be your breathing. So today, I will be telling you something very interesting that many of your doctors will not tell you about. This is how breathing can result or the way you are breathing can result in your health problems. This is a very interesting video, so please stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Edward Florendo, and I'm here to explain how breathing works. This is how you have been taught breathing since you were a kid all the way until you were in high school. When you inhale, oxygen enters the lungs, and when you exhale, carbon dioxide goes out of your body. That's how breathing was taught to us. However, breathing is a bit more complicated than this. Oxygen has to travel to all the different parts of your body. It doesn't stay just at the lungs. So to do this, I will draw here a hand that will represent all the different parts of your body. And what happens to this hand in this illustration happens to all the different parts of your body as well. So here we go. When you inhale, oxygen enters your body into the lungs and at the lungs, this oxygen will then stick to a particular part of your blood called the red blood cells. These red blood cells, which are now loaded with oxygen, will travel through the blood vessels and into the different parts of your body. And in this case, it is the hand. Now when these red blood cells reach your hand or the target organ, these red blood cells should give oxygen to the target organ. However, this doesn't happen automatically. Before the red blood cells can give oxygen, your organ, in this case the hand, has to give carbon dioxide first to the red blood cells. This carbon dioxide will be the chemical that will cause the oxygen to detach from the red blood cells. And now this oxygen can be delivered to your organs. Now the red blood cells, which are now carrying carbon dioxide, will now travel back to your lungs where it can be released to the air. Okay, did you like this part? Now, this is a more comprehensive explanation of how oxygen gets to the different parts of your cells. Now here's the thing, if you went to a candy store and the candy store was selling one piece of candy for one dollar each, how many pieces of candy will you be able to get if you paid the store one dollar? Of course, the answer to this is you will get only one piece of candy. The amount of candy that you will receive it's not dependent on how much candy you need, but rather how much money you are able to give the store. Now likewise, in the exchange earlier that I've shown you between the red blood cell and your hand, the amount of oxygen that your hand or the target organ will receive is not dependent on how much oxygen your hand needs. Instead, it's dependent on how much carbon dioxide your hand can give the red blood cell. So if your hand gives only one piece carbon dioxide, that means your hand will only receive one piece oxygen. This can be a problem when your hand needs more oxygen than it receives. This can cause a deficit of oxygen to your cells. Now let's zoom in to your cells to see how this happens. This here represents your body cells. There's a particular part of your cell called the mitochondria that produces the energy of your cells. The mitochondria will receive the oxygen that was exchanged earlier along with the carbohydrates, fats, and proteins that come from your food. Your mitochondria will mix these together through a process called aerobic respiration that will produce a lot of energy for your cells, particularly as much as 36 units of what we call as ATP. 36 units of ATP. Now, the problem if your cells do not receive enough oxygen, 
there will not be any aerobic respiration that would happen and the mitochondria cannot produce energy for your cells and these cells will die without this energy. Would you like to know what your body will do to produce energy in the absence of oxygen? Well, your cells will use a different process called anaerobic respiration. In anaerobic respiration, your body does not need oxygen. Instead, it only needs to take in carbohydrates and this carbohydrate can be immediately transformed to energy. However, it's a smaller amount of energy, just 4 units. And anaerobic respiration also produces byproducts. These byproducts include lactic acid and a chemical called interleukins. And these interleukins will cause a chain reaction in your body that will increase the production of histamine in your body. Now, does histamine sound familiar to you? Yes, if it does, it's because histamine is what is responsible for many of your allergic reactions. So this is why we often take a medicine called antihistamine for your allergies. However, when you take antihistamines, antihistamines will knock out, will neutralize these histamines, removing your allergy symptoms. However, as you can see in this illustration, the real cause of your symptoms, your allergic symptoms, is not the increase of histamine in your body, but rather the absence of oxygen. So this is why even if you take medicines for allergies or even asthma, these symptoms keep coming back over and over again. That's because the root cause of the problem is not the increase in histamine, but rather the deficiency, the lack of oxygen in your body's cells. So how can you control these symptoms of allergy and asthma? Well, if you improve the oxygenation to your cells, your cells will no longer undergo anaerobic respiration and so they won't produce histamine anymore. And thus, you can stop or even prevent symptoms of allergies and asthma. But what's more, there are other conditions outside allergies and asthma that can also be affected by this same process. So please stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to explain to you more symptoms that are due to the lack of oxygen to your cells. Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Edward Florendo, Asia's snoring expert. Please do like and subscribe this channel. Clicking on those buttons is a prescription to make you feel better.